Hello, welcome to my ghost walkthrough of Dirty Money, a mission by DRK released for the 72 hour contest, which is quite impressive, actually, that this was made in 72 hours. It's not that small of a mission. So let's begin and read the briefing. Now that I've found the Horn of Quintus, I just need to wait for Farkas, who's been out of town lately. In the meantime, I get contacted by some fans at the Green and Boar. His boss, who wishes to remain anonymous, has a certain interest in a well-known establishment located in Three Bridges Quarter. The job is to search for some notes taken by one of his direct competitors on the matter. Considering the job involves Ramirez and the Ivory Rose, my benefactor being Reputo wouldn't be a wild guess on my part. I've been told to look for them in a place called the Pit, itself located in Fowl Creek, a sub-district of South Quarter. From what I managed to gather, the pit is apparently a small gambling den, held by two men working for Ramirez, and it's hidden deep inside Navesbury, a cutthroat place like no other. So much for a simple job. Katy told me about the place before, but since he's out of the picture, it looks like I'll have to do my own scouting in there. Hopefully the pay is worth the risk, if I can find my way out of Navesbury. Okay, so as you can gather, this takes place during the events of the Dark Project, after the Bone Horde, but before Assassins. And I find it a bit amusing that we seem to be working for Rebuto here, even though he tried to get us killed in some of the other missions. So our objectives. Find a way to the pit. Rumors say it's hidden deep inside Navesbury, a cutthroat place like no other. For months Ramirez has had some interest in the Ivory Rose. He had some of his men put it under surveillance, and the reports of their observations are being held by Herwin, the owner of the pit. You must find them and steal them. Word on the street is that a holy hammer was stolen from a local hammering chapel in Runswick and found its way into the pit. Find it and make it yours. Rumors say you're the best, it's time to prove it. Find what little money Navesbury has to offer, steal at least 1700 worth of valuables. A true professional doesn't leave a mess, don't kill anyone. Once you've found everything you were looking for, find a way out of Navesbury alive and return to Aber Street. Okay, uh, we have no equipment store, so I'll go over what equipment we have to begin with, and we also have no map. And this can be a bit of a problem, because this mission can be quite confusing to navigate, especially Navesbury and the canals underneath, but I think I have a good method to navigate those, so I'll show you that. Let's begin by making a real save here. Take a look, we have three mass arrows and four water arrows, which is good. I'm gonna use a couple of water arrows, but that's about it. We also have infinite noisemakers, because for whatever reason, those don't have a stack count property by default, so unless the author specifies it, you're gonna have an infinite amount of them. Not that it matters, because they are pretty much useless. Okay, so my first job here would be to loot this starting area, because as you remember from objective, we have to find our way back here, and the mission is gonna end as soon as we enter this general area. We don't have to go to that rooftop, for example. So if you miss some loot here, then when you return, you won't be able to take all of it. So this is a locked door, but you don't have to pick it because here is that same door from the other side. When you're done moping, I suggest you get on with your patrol. What? Why me? Ah, oh, not me. Hey, you wanna come with? Yeah, well, later maybe. Yeah, of course. When you're a captain, you can choose to guard whatever you like. Until then, tch, not me. Couldn't pay me enough. Come on, just one. I'll quit first! See if I don't! Okay, so that guy is gonna patrol the street while these two overlook the main entrance to Navesbury, which obviously we can't take. I have a strange relationship uh, with these convos that are made out of pieces of stock conversations, because I appreciate the effort that goes into making them, but most of the time they don't sound like real conversations. Like this one, for example. You can get a general idea of what they are talking about, but it doesn't sound like dialogue between people. 
I don't know. Ooh. Thought I saw something. Okay, in here. Just the wind, I guess. Have two coin stacks and a note. Riley, I don't care what the hammer said. I ain't going back to Knivesbury. I'm happy enough to be alive at this point. Yes, they tolerate me if I keep my arse around Debra Street. I'd rather end in Craigscliff than ever go back in there. They don't even know if the hammer is in there, and if they couldn't protect it in the first place, it's not my problem. Did you forget what happened to Julian? The bloody idiot, it's been two weeks now, and we still find pieces of his body here and there. No matter how holy it is, it's not worth the risk. Why do they even want it back anyway? They have hundreds, if not thousands of them. Hell, they can even create a brand new one for all I care. Something just there? Hmm. Yeah. Stopped. Down here we have another note. I did everything within my power to keep you out of trouble thus far, but if you want to go back into Navesbury for whatever glorious reason, count me out. I still remember the foul smell of its canals, and I've heard that atrocious, grueling, excruciating death is pretty popular in there. Best of luck, lad. We'll celebrate your return with mid-afternoon post-surviving danishes. Also, three footlockers in here. The only one that holds anything of interest is this one. Purse, total 124. safe here. Some of the lights in this mission have very low radius on them, so this one, for example, doesn't illuminate me. So that's useful to know. <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? Nothing here now. Hello? Let's climb this. Show yourself. The lamp itself here is not solid. There is a coin. And because it's not solid, you actually have to be really careful when going down, because you can overshoot it. So I kinda wanna do this. Now let's get up to this window. Going up is quite easy. Careful in here because you can wake up this woman. So we gotta get one, two, three. This is a loot. Level 235. Now, to get down, it's actually easier than it looks. You wanna plant a rope something like this so that you can grab it from here. And then when you retrieve it, you're gonna land on the edge of this pipe without taking damage and without making noise. What there? Oh ah. no. Sir? Was that you? Here now. That alley. Hmm. Nothing now. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. Seems peaceful enough now. Here we have a book. Seriously, what's wrong with Ecker and Winford? These guys are psychopaths. Sally told me she found a diary written by one of them, one page in, and she threw up right away. And I know she's seen some weird things in the sewers, she's quite resilient. It's been two weeks now since I last saw her. I hope nothing happened to her. 
I'll find my way to Sitchaim as soon as possible. I'm done with these rodents. And you will also have to pick a footlocker in here. It has a coin stack, I believe. There. <clears throat> this is tile floor. Down here there is nothing. I see there. But on this wood beam. Uh, don't see anything now. There are two more coin stacks. <laughs> Level 315. gonna be a bit difficult to maneuver around this guard because he has a short patrol loop and he never stops <coughs> however what's useful to know here is hmm. that you can actually someone there stay here oh, and well. you're not illuminated by this light Must do nothing <coughs> so let's save here and I wanna do Bit of an interesting maneuver here. Oh, so if you have a weapon out, he's gonna see you. <laughs> you wanna place a rope in the middle of this wood beam. <laughs> this way, Garrett will be able to mantle it. And you can take that coin stack for a total of 320. Just the wind, if guess. you don't place the rope correctly, Garrett won't mantle that wood beam. Now, that guy is facing the way I want him to. He has a purse. Total 420. He can also be facing south and north. You can see. So you have to wait for him to face that way. And then you can move in here. That's not what I wanted to do, Garrett. Here. Wanna put a rope into this wood beam. Like this. Yeah, don't worry about those guys. There is a goblet. Level 435. And then you can drop down. Don't worry, those guys wouldn't hear you. They are too far away. <laughs> and in here, two more pieces of loot, total 535. That's all the loot in the starting area. And these two pieces you can get on your way out. You can also get that um, coin stack in that window that we took by mantling the pipes. So those two pieces you still can get when you get back here, but the rest you cannot. So here is the second way to Navesbury. <laughs> so let me make a real save here. And first let me read this note. Last warning. We need the guys from the division alive. No one else is gonna repair the machines. Same with our customers. If you empty Navesbury of its people, no one's gonna come back to the pit, and you know Herwin wouldn't be pleased about that. Don't forget what happened to that guy from Eber Street the other day. He was too stubborn to know where to stop, so, but the Burricks won't taste the difference with overzealous staffers. Roderick. Okay, so first... This room can be a good landmark, because nothing in the canals here looks the same. And let me first show you the third and last way into Navesbury. <sighs> Which is this room, and it also can be a nice landmark, both in terms of how it looks and how it sounds. Here we have an artifact, total 555. Actually, I'm gonna save here, but if you rope up... <sighs> you can first 
first find this. Right there. Your third way into Navesbury, and you can take it stealthily. It's not that difficult. And on the other side here is a pickable door, which I'm not gonna pick, but I'll show you where it leads. This actually goes to the marketplace. Also quite a unique area. And I'll visit it in a little bit. Note also that you can row up here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> and this, then, <laughs> is the main way to Navesbury. leads into the quarter proper. So remember this place, we're gonna end up here in just a little bit. Okay, so from those explanations we probably gathered that there are some places here which look pretty unique and that's my way of navigating this place. Because the canals can be very confusing and I actually don't have a map of them formed in my head and if someone asked me to draw the map of this mission from memory I wouldn't be able to. So what I do is I just remember how the places are located in relation to each other so that way I can navigate this place quite easily. For example I like to enter the canals from this side and enter this pipe here. So that's the only place that looks like this. And it doesn't have any other exits from it. It's just a straight shot, which deposits us here, near this ladder, which I'm actually gonna take to emerge in Navesbury. But first, <laughs> there is this room, which has a piece of loot. There, bottle of wine, total 605, and a note. Trevor went too far. Taffer almost compromised our business with our friends from Runswick again. It's about time this idiot dies. They'll finally understand who's in charge around here. In three days, he's heading for Sourwell, or Sourwell, through Cullsbridge. Make sure he has a nice swim that day. After Ramirez, he tried to double cross us on the Ivory Rose and join Reputer's ranks. Payment is in the usual spot, fourth statue. I'm counting on you, H. So that's probably Herwin. And remember this, Force statue has the payment. We're gonna see that in just a minute. So then get out the same way you came, don't continue through the second door. And there is one more piece of loot here. So there are actually only two pieces of loot in the canals. Three if you count that artifact we took in the other room. Here. Silver Nugget, total 655. This, for example, is another room that looks like the one where we entered the pipe. Right, it's very similar, but it doesn't have the pipe, of course. So again, get out the same way, and then you can take the ladder. I don't like spending more time in the canals than I have to. So this might look familiar, because here's where it is. Now Navesbury is laid out like a big loop, and no matter which way you take, this one or that one, you're gonna end up in front of the pit, and I'm, I'm gonna explore both ways, actually. I'm gonna go this way first and return and head that way. Here we have a thief, but more importantly, we have some statues. More specifically, huh? four of them. Huh. 
Too many damn rats Some around Some of them here. are broken though, but this one has the purse behind it. It's worth 300, it's the most expensive piece of loot in the mission. So where does it all to 955? If you continue that way, heard something weird back there. you're gonna trigger the yeah. convo, and that's the indication that you're near in the pit. Those guys are near the front entrance. So I'm not gonna go there, I'm gonna approach it from the other side. You can also note that no matter where you are, you probably can drop down into the canal from the streets and vice versa. So the tunnels and the district itself are overlaid, basically. So they are two loops between which you can alternate. I have no idea, to be honest, which place in the canals corresponds to which place of Navesbury. I never figured it out. So this way we can head back to where we came, but there is also this window. <laughs> Calvin, are you trying to snatch my chairs again? I saw you lurking around yesterday, and I beg you to reconsider the next time you approach my furniture. Don't mistake me, I'll thrash you with the tombstone of my beloved husband if you ever come close to my chairs again. I'll pummel some sense back into into your skull if I have to. Sincerely, Bernice. Yeah, I'd say he's been snatching chairs all right. Well, I don't need to pick that lock open, but it's kind of funny. Here, however, we have another piece of loot, another artifact of 975. I always thought these artifacts look like pencils. So let's see, I think we have to put a rope here, because it's gonna take damage otherwise. Hey, who's that? Okay, yeah. I either have to be faster about that. Or I have to wait. Okay, I didn't take damage there. Can I actually get down without taking damage? Oh. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, now I made it. So yeah, that's that side of the loop. the way out. So this then leads to the marketplace. And I showed you a <coughs> glimpse of it. Ready? <laughs> I'll probably eat my words here, but I think you are safe here. That guy won't see you, and this guy never turns Sir? this way. Was that you? So you should be safe. Hmm. Nothing makes a noise now. Mm -hmm. Save here. Hmm. You, think I'd be used to rat you can douse that fire, but it doesn't make that much of a difference because there is also an electric light nearby. But I need him to turn around now. must be playing tricks on me. Okay, so if you remember this place, this oh, leads back to the now. room with the strange noises mm -hmm. near the starting area. Mm -hmm. My esteemed friend Winford, I just received a remarkable parchment regarding Lord Fenival. Oh heavens, what an illustrious idea you have there. I haven't killed the rich one for quite some days, and you remembered it, you sensed it. What a valuable accomplice you are. You see me truly truly delighted by your scheme. The intention of dismembering him one limb after another in front of his family is quite exquisite. Once again, I cannot wait for such a lovely adventure, Ecker. Okay, dude, you have to chill out. <laughs> and in this footlocker, we have a rug. Total 11.25. Now to get out of here, have to gauge this guy because if he's looking this way, 
thought I saw something. You won't be able to move <laughs> out. I think I'd be used to rat noises by this now. It's too far. If you stick to the right, you should be fine. But you cannot pass this area if he's looking this way. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. That was just nothing. Okay. Let's pick this door now. And this money box. Total 12, 25. This guy has a random patrol. So here, for example, he can turn around, but sometimes he can go that way. He also has a purse. 13, 25. This door doesn't lead anywhere. You cannot use it. And to pass this guy, you can hide here. Oh, wow. There was nothing. <laughs> I like the look of Navesbury, by the way, it reminds me of Assassins, and it's a nice reminder that not all places in the city are full of tall buildings, there are also places that look like this. This is also not a door, cannot use it. And we have one last shop in Navesbury, right here. Three coin stacks, 1340, so that's all the loot in the district, and a note. Cloris, I found the secret entrance that leads to the tombs under the pit. I saw Roderick open it a couple days ago. The library in his quarters is in fact a door. My guess is that there is a secret switch nearby. Anyway, I'll give it a shot tonight. Herwin went to a meeting with Ramirez, meaning Roderick is alone and busy enough with the pit. If I find their secret stash, we'll get out of Foul Creek once and for all. Pack your stuff and wait for me at the entrance of Westport like we planned. Wish me luck, my love. It's now or never. Okay, so that's useful information. And this way, we come up on the entrance to the pit once again. Heard something weird back there. Yeah, let it teach him. Boss was dangerous today. That's why I can't stand the pit now. You don't know what you missed. Okay. So there are actually two entrances into the pit. This one, and you can also get in from the canals. But I'm gonna use that as my exit point, and I like approaching the pit this way, because it makes looting it a bit more logical, so to speak. What's going on over there? This guy is gonna come this way now. He also has a healing potion. One of the Did pockets. that shadow move? There's a goblet. 1855, and here we also have one guard with a purse. There he is. And we've completed the objective of finding the way into the pit. Now, here we have an elevator, and as you can see, the pit has three floors. I'm not gonna use the elevator, but it's here. Just in case you're inclined to use it. <coughs> Up here on the rafters, you can find a bit of loot. Three coin stacks. Total 1430. And also an entrance into this vent, which I'm also now. gonna use. This one connects the rafters as well as two fireplaces. The one right below us and the one on the first floor. I don't like using them because they are really well lit. And unless you douse them, you are really exposed here. So I'm gonna head back and pickpocket this guy now. Go, oh, total 15.30. And I'm gonna follow him down. Let me make another real save. 
save here. If you stick to his right, you should be able to pass him here. Once he turns around. Just around this little column. Like that. That's a pickable door, and I'll show you later where it leads. Was hmm. something just there? Someone there? Too okay. much coffees this so this is the bar Who's area then. This is the middle floor. Yeah, it is the middle floor. And here we have three people. The one in front of the fireplace is Roderick, and he has the key we need. He's stationary, he turns three directions, and so does the barmaid over there, and there is only one patroller here. So let me see, I can pick up the coins stack here, total 1535. And once this guy moves, if you stick to the left here, you are safe from the barmaid, even though your light gem is gonna light up a little bit, but you're not safe from Roderick. He's gonna see you if you come too close. <sighs> so he has to turn any What's other that? direction. This way you can take his key. And oh my well. next goal Sorry. is to make it to that plant. Nothing. Is that you, Cap? And for that, the barmaid has to look any other way but this. Was that the I yeah. mm. Gonna have to wait another round. So, this can be a little unpredictable and require some trial and error. <coughs> What's that? Nice. Two coin stacks here. I don't know here. what that was. And you can actually... Oh, that? Okay. You can Someone grab those there? two pieces of loot from here, but I'll show you a better way. So I'm gonna go there in just a little bit. Also, remember this part. It leads to the bottom floor. And we'll get back to that. But from here you can get behind the bar. Get a rug here. Total 1695. And if you douse this torch. Hey, did you see someone over there? You can then get these two pieces of loot. Like this. Total 1770. That meets our loot goal. So this is the better way to do it, even though you have to use a water arrow. You can do it without using a water arrow, but you won't be shaded in the doorway. And it might require just a bit of luck. One last piece of loot here is a silver coin stack. Little 1782. So we're done here. Now let's go this way. This leads to the top floor of the barracks. So this is still the second floor of the entire building. So this door, as you can gather, is the one I told you about earlier. It leads back to the bar. Look there. There we go. I don't have to pick it, so I'm not going to. That vent I'll show you in a bit. Go get a job with Ramirez, she says. He's rich and powerful, she says. Last time I listened to a woman. <laughs> yeah, I told you. That's the worst. Do you ever feel like there's someone watching you? Stop. I found it best not to ask questions. The gold they give me answers all the questions I have. Okay. This is Roderick's room. So that's why I like entering the casino that way, because I can get his key on my way down here. Roderick, I'm leaving tonight. An urgent meeting with Ramirez. Not sure what's not sure about what's going on, 
but it's not about the ivory rose. I locked the notes in my quarters and put my keys with the stash down there. I don't want to take any risk. Keep an eye on Trevor. I don't want any more trouble until his departure. Hervin. Okay. Here we have a goblet and a candlestick. 1847. Two more notes. Boss, we caught a tramp passing this note under your door. Guy is mental. Should we hit him to the barracks? Prepare for die. I bring justice from heaven into you. I am the knight and the patience is finished. Yeah, I'd say feeding him to the barrack sounds about right. So remember that the library door is fake. And the switch is right here. And here we have a lot of loot. We also have Hervin's key and the Holy Hammer, which is another one of our objectives. Sealed section. Do not enter if you value your life. Okay, so I'm not gonna enumerate all of this, but there is a bunch. Total 24, 25. Now, the guy that was involved in the conversation here has a key. Noise. It just opens a footlocker in the room below. The wind, I guess. This vent is the other entrance into the pit. <sighs> so I'll just show you where it leads right now, but I'm gonna use it later to escape. So, you can recognize this room by this banner here. At least that's what I do. So yeah, this is where it goes. Here you can get down to the bottom floor. Which is nice, because that's actually Hervin's room. Goblet, two candlesticks, oh, 24, 25, 40. Hervin, we finally got him. Remember a friend from Fidgewick's Hollow? That Mr. Cadwell, who were a nuisance to Madame Demetra and the girls. Well, for a while I've been pestering her about him, just out of curiosity, like... She told me she don't know much about him other than his real name, and it's a pretty interesting one. Turns out he's none other than Sir de Lavand. That's right, the guy from that so-called pious family who's been annoying Ramirez for months. Now, about his faith and whatnot, guess they ain't as clean as they pretend to be. But it gets even better. She wanted me to contact the downwinders, so they could keep an eye on him. Tough it, about time we outsmarted them. Not only can we help Madame Dimitra and Ramirez, but we can add a bit of more, a bit more trouble between Donald and Ruben. Talk about an opportunity. I'll let you take it from here, and don't tell no one you got the info from me, Burley. And here are the reports on the Ivory Rose, which is our final objective, so... We can actually leave now, but there is still the entire bottom floor to loot. And we cannot read this, unfortunately. So that's everything in here. So that's the bottom floor of the barracks. But first I'm gonna head in here. So this vent, first of all, connects to the second floor, if you remember this place, it's right behind the bar. But it also leads into the casino, and save here, because sometimes when you open this, the guards would second alert. I'm not sure why, but it happens. So that's the bottom floor of the elevator then. Is that you? And this is the hardest place now. in the mission Must to look. Have been rats. First of all, there is a purse here. Level 2640. 
and I also recommend dousing this torch. But once again, sometimes when you do this, people around are gonna second alert. Hit me. So I wanna douse it to get this goblet here. You can do it without dousing this torch. But it's very difficult. And if you play in Supreme, it's actually impossible. There is also a coin stack here and two more on this table. Level 2740. And then you wanna take the rafter here to the other end of this room. There are two more coin stacks down here. You can land on this table, and you're actually safe here. Even though you like gems. Yellow. <laughs> Nobody sees you here. Which is good. So yeah, you can actually take all the loot in this room within supreme rules, except for that goblet. At least I haven't been able to. Hey, I think I saw something. Seems clear enough now. So let's see. When you close it, they also second alert sometimes, so they didn't do it now, which is good. Now we can head back to the barracks. <laughs> Here we have a stationary guard. It can be a bit troublesome to lockpick doors around him, but it's not too bad. You'll still be mindful of the servant who patrols here. So in this room, there is some equipment here, but this footlocker responds to the key. We pickpocketed from the guard upstairs. So 2890. This door is harder to lockpick because you cannot hide from this guy if he turns this way. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so you just have to get lucky. Okay. And if you play in Supreme, again, you cannot lockpick this door because he will hear that. I can't believe there is such beauty in this place. It's almost poetic. Wish I'd met Gladys first. She deserves better than this, and so do I. I see her every day and yet I can't even talk to her. It's a real torture. I know that if Roderick weren't in the way, I'd lick her sweet earlobes all day till they turn purple. So in here, the only piece of loot is the coin stack on the rafter. Level 29.15. Is someone there? This door you can pick and it leads back into the casino. Stop oh, having me. That? Hey, Something's is someone in there. here? So I don't have to do that. Who's that? That's also mm -hmm. a door that you wouldn't be able oh, well. to pick if you're playing mm -hmm. Supreme Ghost. Because of this guy, once again. Mm -hmm. And in here, we have three coin stacks. Level 2950. There is one more door here. Hey! <clears throat> that one you can pick. And in here we have a bottle of wine. Total 3000. That's all the loot in the mission. 
Trevor, you tough and dimwit. The emerald vase you brought to the trade the other day, it belongs to Master Heliford of Shalebridge. Do you want to bring up Reputo into this? Don't you think we have enough trouble with Lady Mildred of Francewick already? Find a way to get it back, and get rid of it as soon as possible. Last warning, I'm done with you, Tefer. Roderick. Okay. So, that's it. Now we just have to find our way out of here. So, I like going back the same way. opening near Herwin's room and I didn't show you this vent but basically it doesn't lead anywhere you can just use it to go around that guard <laughs> so you have to get back into the canals again so, to find my way back home here, I also have a bit of a method. So when you drop down, you can only go into this pipe and stick to the pipe, don't go further. If you do this, you're gonna arrive in front of this door, which is a familiar place. Right, that's where we picked up the silver nugget. And if we continue further, we come out here. So that's the ladder we took, and we emerge from that pipe. And as you remember, it doesn't have any orcs. So it leads <laughs> straight back here. And we made our way back. So at least that's how I remember where to go. Because if you don't have any clue of how the sewer or the canals are laid out, you risk spending some 10-15 minutes down there going around in circles. is gonna end Nothing as soon now. as we cross an invisible line here. <laughs> Thought I saw something. Like this. <clears throat> so there we go. Mission complete in 31 minutes, 47 seconds. Found 3000 loot, which is all of it. Picked all 6 pockets and picked 12 locks. That's actually the lowest you can get it to if you're going for all the loot in the mission. So, not that big of a mission, but I enjoyed it quite a lot. So, hopefully you enjoyed this walkthrough. So, next time we're gonna finish up with the Black Parade lore missions. We're gonna play Lost Among the Forsaken, which I'm definitely looking forward to. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.